Y'all see this comment right here? Y'all see this comment right here? You don't want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Okay? You want to get online and troll and sound intelligent, but you really sound ignorant because you know you haven't done the research. So let me put you to some facts upon facts, sir, so that we can set the record straight. Cheddar Man, early Britain. Cheddar Man, a 10,000 year old skeleton found in Somerset, England, revealed through DNA analysis that early Britons had dark skin and curly hair and blue eyes. So Say what? <laughs> Say what? Now this was conducted by the University College of London and the Natural History Museum and this study actually confirmed that the first settlers of Britain post Ice Age had African ancestry. Ah! I clutch my pearls. Ah! Say what? Let's go to the scripture. Genesis 2 and 7 states the Lord God formed man of dust of the ground dark skinned humanity originated near the equator regions where the earth itself is rich and dark say what yes let me give you some sources that you can go look it up okay right here right here right here below right there okay i want you to look that up replacement in early neolithic britain okay nature Ecology and Evolution 2018. Go look it up. But let's say, what about the Vikings? You say the Vikings are black? Did you say that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I did. Ancient Vikings and Norse populations genetic and historical evidence indicates that Viking societies were far more diverse than modern stereotypes suggest. Say what? Did they lie to us? Oh my goodness. Really? The extensive trade routes connected the Vikings to North Africa and Middle East and Central Asia, leading to genetic mix mixing and darker complected individuals among the Viking population. Ooh! Artifacts and writings show their frequent encounters with Moors. Who are the Moors? They're dark skinned, all right? And other dark skinned people in Libya, Liberia, and beyond. Oh, cool. Let me give you some cultural references right here below. Okay? Right here. Norse Saga mentions foreign men and marriages with individuals from other regions, further indicating their interactions with diverse populations. This source right here, you can go look it up if you think I'm lying genomics of the viking world nature 2020 yes uh, all right and let's not forget to mention <laughs> the early asian people were actually black clutch my invisible pearls what did you say yes ancient chinese and early asian populations they were black they shared the features with African ancestry due to the out of African migration. Did you say what? Oh my goodness. This truth is just so enlightening. The, the, the Kenosian connection. Y'all know about the Kenosian people of Southern Africa? They are particularly significant. Why? Because they are one of the oldest known human populations and possessing unique genetic markers that place them close to humanity's origins. And you know what? Many of those Kenosian individuals display Asian-like features such as the eptonic folds, almond age or shaped eyes, and light brown skin. But the ones in Africa didn't have light brown skin. They had dark skin. Yes, they did. <laughs> you know, so it reflects humanity's diversity and their genetic diversity that all originates from Adam and Eve, right? And so anthropologists actually believe that the Kenosian people provide evidence of early migration connections between Africa and Asia, showing that Asia and African features are not exclusive but interconnected. Why? Because everybody comes from a black woman. <laughs> oh, do I need to provide scientific?
scientific support for you? Let me provide that scientific support. The scientific support down below, right here, DNA studies prove that Kenosha, Kenosha and people carry the oddest human Y chromosome lineage and micro DNA, making them a key population for understanding early humanity spread. Yes, now you are fully educated. <laughs>